rumors 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 just around apple hey guys a new video from the all rounder today as you might have known from the title we'll be talking about the apple 2021 rumors so i am prabir and you're watching the all rounder so let's get started audio jungle audio jungle apple has already blown everyone away with the products they launch in 2020 like the m1 max they got some positive and negative feedback but most of it being positive but they are not done yet i mean they are never done i'll be briefing you about the ipads iphones and max last year we observed changes in the ipad pro where apple introduced a lidar scanner and improved the camera quality of the ipad pro then later in the year came the ipad air which was introduced with more colors and a fingerprint scanner the ipad air was also compatible with the magic keyboard 2 with the floating one and the apple pencil 2 so in short it was an ipad pro with less features a lower price but almost same specs the model in ipad that is most expected to be changed from its predecessor is the ipad pro apple seem to be making it thinner and lighter and also making a few adjustments to the screen so that it gives better video quality also like we saw 5g in the iphone 12 last year it seems that apple are even going to integrate that in the new ipad pros but i don't really think that is going to be true also there was information that apple are going to integrate the a14x chip in their new ipads which has the same code as the silicon chip the m1 trust me it's complicated over to iphones now there were a lot of talks that we won't see any iphone 13 this year but as per what i found it says that we will see an iphone 13 in autumn this year apple doesn't seem to be making many changes on the phones they launch every year so from iphone 11 to iphone 12 there weren't much of changes but this time it seems the phone the iphone 13 is more evolutionary than revolutionary there are quite a few changes Apple might even discard all the ports on the iPhone 13 so the only way you can charge is MagSafe. Again all of these are just rumors don't expect all of them to be true. I even read that they might keep the same four phone lineup as the iPhone 12. Though I personally didn't expect that to happen because of the poor sales of the iPhone 12 mini. Many people didn't like it because of its battery life and other issues as well. And nowadays because of the new generations people pro- prefer bigger phones because the tech is so evolutionary that everyone is watching some of their youtube video it just better to have a bigger screen before we say bye to iPhones let's talk about the display that Apple might be integrating into the iPhone 13 so the past phones of Apple like iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 had a uh, screen refresh rate of 60 hertz but this time Apple seems to be upgrading that to 120 hertz in the new iPhone 13 Apple seem to be wanting to take their display to the next level by adding ProMotion. It's a technology which delivers refresh rate up to 120 Hz for smoother scrolling, greater responsiveness and fluid content. Over to Max now. This is the most juicy topic amongst all. Apple has just been making so many alterations to their computer. It all started in November last year when they introduced the Apple Silicon M1. Now for the new Max in power Apple is mostly going to pop in the M1 X chip and introduce a 14 inch model in the MacBook Pro lineup. Also 14 inch is a perfect size for a big screen and portability. It is like the middleman in between the 13 inch and the 16 inch. Also for the big screen lovers the MacBook Pro 16 inch is also going to trickle in with a M1 X chip. Everyone hopes that the new M1 X Max come with MagSafe charging and have more ports because I know Everyone has had enough of dongles. Also I found that the M1 X chip Max will have a dedicated GPU. I mean this is quite sensible because mostly professionals will be buying the 14 and 16 inch models and it is always better to have a dedicated GPU for buttery smooth responsiveness. And talking about GPUs, the new M1 X Max might also have a mini LED display which is much better than the current Retina display they have. It is also said that Apple plan to discuss touch bar on the MacBook Pro and have physical function keys instead i mean this is pleasant for some and really sad for the others now to one of apple's most revolutionary products the iMac they've had the same design since so many years everyone was so fed up with the big bezels but now they're finally evolutionary because apple is discarding the bezels and getting a pro display xdr type design 
Before we continue praising the iMac, there is a sad news for other professionals using the iMac. The iMac Pro has been officially discontinued by Apple. But I feel there will be extra power added to the regular high-end iMacs so that professionals get and satisfy their needs. Because I know you professionals love your iMac Pro and its display. There are new colors introduced in the new iMac lineup as well. Now this is interesting. Apple launched a computer with different colors. Also, it would be cool if Apple introduces the same color of the keyboard as the iMac. For example, I buy a blue iMac, I get a blue magic keyboard. I mean, this is all imagination. I am a really creative person, you could say. Not really, but my imagination just never stops. So that's all for this video. I know this was a bit lengthy and I know this was not the topic most of us were hoping for. But don't worry, I have the next video which is coming up soon which will be a good video because that is more of a lifestyle based video guess what it will be about in the comment section below and don't forget to follow me on instagram please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos thank you